Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's Food Pantry Day. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, it is a one wagon load food pantry haul today. Um, and if you don't watch Kelly's Place, um, she's also noticed that her blessing box is a little lighter than normal. And <coughs> I need to remember to stop and breathe. Um, and <coughs> even though our food pantry is really generous, um, they're also noticing a huge drop in donations, donated foods, that kind of thing. And part of it is our food pantries, thrift store is only open three days a week. So it's not getting the funds in it should be. And part of it is that people are just not donating food. They're holding back their food. They're, they're saving their food. They're stockpiling. They're, instead of putting food, buying extra food and donating it, they're putting it in their cupboards for when things happen. And I can't blame them because we all need to be doing that. So, everybody, um, men, if you can get yourself a little freezer, guys, somehow get yourself, even with them little bitty freezers at Walmart that's like $150, keep an eye out for one, you know, especially right now at the college kids' time, you know, get a little freezer, please, because we really need to be um, putting food up putting up um, fresh vegetables, um, freezing them, doing everything we can to, um, and, and bananas. You know, you can freeze a banana. You can cut it up and freeze it. You can take it out of the peels, cut it in half and freeze it. It's good for quite a while in the freezer, for like six months. You can freeze eggs. You can... Um, whole eggs, crack it in in a plate, however many you think you need at a time, like put two in, put three in, um, and freeze them like that um, in each in a Ziploc bag, and then double freeze them, or double baggy them. Um, there's so many things you can do while the food is readily available to help yourself. If you freeze eggs, Look up how to freeze them safely, and when you do freeze them, like some of the cake mixes and things like that that you may want to use them in, takes two eggs, takes three eggs, that kind of thing, so that's how you want to freeze them. If you're a family and you want to fry up eggs, make sure you bag them up however you use them, <coughs> and that kind of thing. Um... Cooking up meats so that they're done, like cooking up hamburger ahead of time, making hamburger patties, freezing them, you know, so they're just take them out, thaw them, use them, heat them on the stove or in the oven, that kind of thing. Everything you can do to save money, save time, um, be self-sufficient. Um, I'm always blessed with everything I get. As you can see in my food pantry, um, where I showed it, um, this is going on both of my vlog channel and my regular channel. I'll link my, um, where I've got stuff stocked in my food pantry. I'll link that in the comment section below. So if you haven't seen that, you can. So let's get into this and show you what I got this month, okay? So I'm going to start with these this big box of soda crackers now it looks like they're in like this foil package i'm not opening these it says they're fit 16 foil fresh packs so that's really cool because i open crackers and they they go to waste on me so those will go in my cupboard and be put aside i also got some rice krispies this is a good time of year to have those um, and then cornflakes, and I have gotten abundance of cornflakes lately, 
So I will share those at the community building. This is my toiletry bag. Um, paper towels, always great to have. Toilet paper. It looks like I got four rolls of toilet paper. And then I also got, this looks like natural bug repellent, so it won't have DEET. So if my lungs ever heal from getting uh, bug repellent sprayed, I was out and they were spraying a park with bug, uh, pesticides and I ended up getting some breathed in. If they heal from it, I'm good to go again, but man... Guys, D is bad stuff. Apricot hand soap. I was about out of hand soap, so this is really good to get. I, and I love the smell of apricot, so that's awesome. And then we have, um, this one's just with aloe. It doesn't say it has a scent. It says it has scent theory. Hmm. But I've had this before and it doesn't have a scent, so that's okay. But, you know, that's cool. I can put one in my kitchen sink, one in my bathroom sink. Then we have, ooh, look at those nail clippers, guys. Woohoo! Cute. And then we get Pro Enamel toothpaste. A couple little bottles of Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing. And then one, two, three... Of these packets of shampoo and conditioning, a uh, conditioner with tea tree oil. Those are nice to have for camping, traveling, that kind of thing. I'm going to put these away. I'll be right back. And the other thing they do, they always have these grab totes where you can take whatever you want. They had a lot of totes of feminine products. Now, if you noticed in my, my cupboard, even though I don't use them, I have feminine products. And there's a reason. And I'll go into that in a, a video. They have this, um, and I smelled it. It's Jennifer Aniston, and it's actually, I had a heck of a time getting the cover off this earlier. It's actually really kind of nice. It has like a, like a musk scent, more like what a man would wear, but softer. It's really kind of nice. I liked it. Um, and... A lot of medicines, but there were two gals up ahead of me that pretty much cleaned out any of the cold medicines. Um, I'm not sure. But anyways, we won't discuss it. <laughs> so I have frozen meats here. We have a sliced cooked ham. This is good. Um, mine from last month. It was it was really good. I used the whole thing. Um, I like getting this. Sandwiches, um, ham, you buy the, the gravy um, packets, and you turn around, you make uh, like sandwiches, hot beef sandwich kind of thing, or you just have it on rice with noodles, that kind of thing, potatoes. Makes really good meals, guys. A package of ground beef. From the Chicago Meat House. And then, of course, we have our frozen egg product. And, oh my gosh, I got another one. Another ground bison, guys. I have not had mine from last month yet. Because I was wanting to barbecue mine. Um, and I just haven't had a chance to do it. So, I'm going to go into the next bag. Which also feels like cold foods. And it is, we have, oops, that came off there. It is fully cooked pork patties with soy protein product. So they're, they're, they're sausage patties, but not all meat is what they're saying. Some bar -S hot dogs, some ground turkey. And another um, ground beef from the Chicago Meat House. Let me get rid of that plastic bag. And uh, we have in this 
some Cheetos White Cheddar Bites. They look good. It's like a snack food decoration. And then we have some Pasta Bella Rotelli. I like these noodles. And these are the big fat ones. See the size of those? So that's the noodles. And then we have some cheeseburger macaroni. I like this stuff. This is awesome. I like getting that. Makes a nice meal, and I usually have a little bit of leftover. And we have some ranch, uh, sesame, uh, not sesame, um, sunflower seeds. Read the package, Laura. Read the package. Snack that. Okay, now we have over here. Of course, I got some um, eggs. I got two dozens. I always test my eggs because they get them in big, big case slots. And you want to always test your eggs from them and uh, do the water test and um, check them first. Then we have some of the pure leaf green mint green tea with mint this is really good tea it's in the little bags really good tea guys um or at least i think so then we have organic rice broccoli i'll probably use that in something i like broccoli anyways somebody texted me i'll look in a minute this is um, beef round roast, boneless. It's all like iced over, but nice piece of meat. Ugh, I'm going to pause you a second. Alright, and then I have some um, peaches. And there's one, two, three, four, five of these total. Which is really good because I've been doing a thing, which I'll fill y'all in in a while. And then I got a can of fruit mix. And then some bananas, which I was going to buy some the other day. And they were green as grass and I wasn't paying that much. I already showed you that. And then I got a cucumber. And then some biscuit mix and I'm not going to pull them all out of the box but I got some five really dirty potatoes they need to be washed and then I got vanilla cream cake sliced cake and then we have over here ooh some sage that's cool and two of the unsweetened applesauce. And for a change, they're not frozen. That's always good. Um, I'm going to put my meat off to the side over there because it's got to go in the refrigerator. Just trying to situate stuff. Let me pause you a second. Okay, we have a mystery box, and I'm thinking it might go with my USDA food. I don't know, but there's nothing on it. But it sounds like, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody got one or two that was ahead of me. My point was at 9 o'clock. They don't start until 8.15, and there was, believe it or not, 10 cars ahead of me. And I'm like, they schedule people for like 15 minute interview intervals <laughs> so there was a lot of people there that were not at the correct time and then I kid you not guys they were parked so far apart it was like your vehicles aren't going to catch COVID from each other would you please at least pull up so you cannot fit a full-size truck between each other oh my gosh we were like way down the street and this trucking company, the people were getting mad, and and I can't blame them, but if you get out of line, then you lose your spot, and it's it was a mess. 
I hope they can get something done about that situation. You know, my appointment was at 9 and I got there at like 8.30 and I could not believe how many people were in line and I had people line up right behind me. Okay. Let's see what's in our mystery box. And I'm not griping, I'm just saying, because people are like, oh, you're, you're bitching. Well, you know, when your appointment is at such a time and we have to wait in line along a street, common sense says please come when you're supposed to or close to it and not whenever you please, because it makes it difficult. So this looks like it is from the USDA Harvesters Program. This is chicken, barbecue chicken burrito bowls. Is everything actually in here? No. No, it's not. I don't see any burritos in here, unless it's in a bag. Oh, you don't put it in a burrito. Why is it called a burrito bowl, guys? <laughs> Okay, whatever. Um, I don't quite get it. Why is it a burrito bowl if it's not, you know, in a burrito? Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we got is everything to make this recipe right here. So, guys, I hope that's not backwards for you. Um, I'll put the ingredients below. So, we have the brown rice instant. Natural whole grain. We have a, oh, sweet baby rays, my favorite. Barbecue sauce. We have a huge can of chicken breast. We have a can of whole kernel corn. We have, um, this looks like mandarin, or oh, it is mandarin oranges. Some black beans. I like black beans on, and rice. And then we have some pear slices. So let's just take a look at this really quick and see what the recipe says. Four cups of brown rice according to instructions. Large skillet over medium high heat. Add canola oil, chicken, barbecue sauce, beans, and corn. Stir to combine. Um, cook until hot, serve warm over cooked rice, and serve, well, where does the corn come in? Oh, the corn comes in there. Beans, corn, and chicken. Gotcha. And then there is the ingredients. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was on two pages, guys. So there you go. I'll put everything in down below. I'm going to set that aside. Now I know what that is. Then we got some of the um, American cheese, and it's going to be yellow American. And bakery mix. All-purpose dried egg mix. Creamy peanut butter. Grape jelly. I'm partial to my homemade dandelion jelly. Sweet and smoky chipotle pinto beans. Spaghetti with meatballs. Yep, it does say meatballs. Afterwards, I was like, is it? Um, mixed vegetables. A second can. Oh, these are beef raviolis. And then we have some whole kernel corn. And two of the uh, granola bars, fruit and nut. All right, I have one more box, hold on. Okay, we got a sweet treat. It is a glazed donut from Walmart. We got a huge bag of mild cheddar cheese. This will have to be divided and put in the freezer. 
We got a box of macaroni and cheese. A box of spaghetti. A, is it one pound? Yep, one pound of butter, which I love getting butter for baking. We have some chili no beans and beef stew. So that's what those two are. Oops. Then in the box we have black beans. I've been getting a lot of black beans. Vine ripe sauce, which if you guys get the sauce and you think it's a little too tomatoey, add a little bit of sugar to your sauce. Another can of sauce. It will help cut the 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 bite of the tomato. Um, sliced potatoes. Um, apricot halves. Pears. Pinto beans. It's getting to be chili season, guys. Applesauce. And, of course, a big old can of beef. And trash. We have some little boxes of sun-made raisins. Oh, we got some figs. Instant potatoes. Cream of chicken soup in a box. And then we have some, um, I believe they're navy beans. No, pinto beans. Why would I call them navy beans? One bean in my mind and one bean came out of my head, mouth. Dried cranberries. Hazelnuts. Dried roasted almonds. And... Plums. I love plums. How many people like plums? So, alright guys, that was the end of my food pantry haul for the month. Like I said, um, there's a lot of things that can be saved for long-term use. Um, you go to open this, you can also take some of these out and store them in other ways. Um, Tupperware is your friend, guys. I know people are like, ah, Tupperware. But tell you what, Tupperware is fabulous for long-term storing that's airtight. When you can take a Tupperware with a sealed lid, put it in water and wash it, and your flour and sugar doesn't get wet, it's not going to let air into your food. So Tupperware is, I'm sorry, the best, hands down, for storing things like this that you don't want to get wasted because you're only going to open it and take a little bit and the rest of this is going to get nasty after you open it and it's a waste. So go to yard sales. Look for Tupperware. If you want to clean it, Dawn with like Comet, make a paste, clean the inside with a scouring, you know, sponge really good with that paste leave it set rinse it out really good wash it good the same with the lid put the lid back on after you leave it set the smell should be gone and any stains should be gone and it should be good um you know i've had tupperware for years and i stand by it so everybody thank you so much for um hanging out with me um I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching this video, whether you watch it on my new channel, my vlog channel, or if you watch it on my um, Haunted Ramblings. Either way, take care. Have a most blessed day, and get out there and have some fun. I'll talk to all of you guys in the comments down below. Bye, guys.